and uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some of this mud soap here, okay? And first of all, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make sure that I open it up first. So you want to make sure you open it up. And then once you open it up, just set it aside for a second. And I like to get my water, you know, warm, hot, however you like it, okay? And uh, also make sure you have, you know, washcloth where uh, when you get done washing, obviously, you know, you can dry yourself off. But the important thing is when you get your uh, mud soap uh, or any other product that we have, you, all, you always want to remember just to do one side of your face, okay? Or one hand or, you know, one wrist, okay? Or elbow or knee. You don't want to do your whole body because you want to know what it felt like before and what it felt like after, okay? Because I, I, I tell you, the first time I used any of these secret products, Literally, the only thing that came out of my mouth was, really, okay? And then the next thing was like, wow. And that's how we got the wow part. I'm just kidding. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Make sure that uh, one, one hand is wet, okay, with some warm water. Oh, and by the way, you know, it's, it's always important to keep uh, some of your product in areas where people uh, congregate all the time like so this is this is our downstairs bathroom where people come in um, we have a bathroom two upstairs and one down in the basement and so uh, when people get through washing their hands we, we keep some body butter in here okay so it's important that people see the product in your house so obviously if you don't use it you're not gonna have it in your house but if you're using it you can have it in your house simple as that okay all right so one hand is wet. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a little bit of this. And I'm going to just put it. Literally. See if I can find it here on my camera. Literally I'm going to put that much in my hand. I'm going to put that much in my hand. Okay. Then what I want to do is with my other hand that's dry. A little ashy from the uh, the powder from the soap. Okay, we'll take care of that here in a minute. I'm gonna take this hand that's dry, and I'm gonna just get a little water in my hand, and I'm gonna just sprinkle it in my hand like this, just like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my hand and then just start to kind of move it around with my finger. All right, and then once I do that, just start washing it. You know, putting your hands together, and you basically wanna, you know. It's not going to lather up like regular soap because it had it didn't have the uh, SLS in it, all right? And don't ask me to say what the SLS is, all right? So, here it is. That's what it's going to look like, all right? So, basically, I'm going to just wash one side of my face. Just like that. Okay? Just one side. And then once I get that one side washed, I'm gonna just rinse my hand off and rinse my face off, okay? All right. <clears throat> okay. So I'm gonna dry my face off. And make sure my contacts aren't popping out because all the water I just got in my eye. Okay. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is take inventory. How does my face look? Man, that's a good looking face. I'm just joking. So, I want you to feel the side that you actually wash with. Then I want you to go and feel the side that you didn't wash with. Now, I wash with mud soap uh, every day. First thing I wake up in the morning, I get me a couple, you know, cups of water because we live here in Colorado. And, uh, you know, you have, to, you have to stay hydrated. I drink a lot of water, okay? Helps your skin, helps your whole body, right? But uh, after I get through doing that, I wash with my, my, my mud soap. Now, obviously, because I have on my own mud soap, I uh, use it on my whole face. I don't just use it on one side. Just common sense. But when you get done doing that, um, you can just feel the difference. 
so my point was, I already washed earlier this morning, but washing the, the one side of my face and then washing the other side, like right now, I could still even tell a difference. And just right now, washing my face with that mud soap. I mean, it's like smooth and it feels good. Okay? So you take a guy who looks like me, who's not very, you know, not very handsome, not very, you know, suave, debonair, whatever. It actually makes you look good and makes you feel good. Okay? So the other thing that uh, I really like about the uh, mud soap is this. You know, when you wash with a lot of soap, how it leaves your skin real dry and ashy? You know why? It's because those soaps actually uh, pull a lot of those essential oils out of your skin that you need. And it just leaves your, your skin wanting and needing something. So the mud soap that we use and other soaps and, and, and products that we use, it doesn't deplete your skin of the natural oils that you, that you actually already have. All right? It just takes, it just takes uh, away all that other nasty stuff that, uh, that your body you know, needs to get away and, and, and get out of, of, of your body anyway. Okay, so uh, it is always good to use some type of moisture cream, and we, we carry different uh, different creams for your face and for your body. Um, so it's always good to, to, to add a little bit, but understand that if you don't, your, fit, your face is not going to be all tight and dry and ashy and breaking down and stuff like that because our products are designed not to be that way. All right, it's good for you. It's just simply good for you. Okay, so, so that's how I use my sample. And, uh, of course, I had to perfect it beforehand. Uh, I realized that it needed to be more of a powder form than the little, the little shavings, all right? So, uh, like I said, you don't really need a whole lot. And you saw how much I use. So, just imagine how many washes I can actually get with this. And so, I only washed one side of my face, but I could have actually used the soap to wash my whole face, just that little bit, okay? So, it doesn't take a lot. It really doesn't take a lot. So let your, let your people know, your family, your friends, your colleagues know. It doesn't take a lot. Okay? We've got some great products. You may pay a little bit more for it, but you're paying for what you get. It just makes sense. Okay? So let's go back in the, uh, in the kitchen and, uh, and close this out. Got you in the dark now, don't I? <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, I don't know if uh, you also can hear... The background music, you know, we like to actually have some really cool, um, you know, island music or something like that, wow, or spa music going. And so it's important to set the tone and set the mood for your wow party, okay? Uh, you want people, as soon as they walk in the door, to be wowed by your smile, by your enthusiasm, right? You want people also to be wowed by the environment that you're actually setting up for them, uh, the smells, because remember, if you can think back uh, when you were younger about a smell that you just can remember. Maybe it was a good smell or maybe it was a bad smell. Okay? But you remember that. So you want them to, one, be wild by your smile and by your enthusiasm. But you also want them to be wild by what they smell. And they don't even have to know where it's coming from. But they just know it smells great. Okay? Second thing is we try to have little, little food for people when they come in. Okay? Because you think about it. If you haven't been, or if you've only seen it on TV, when you go to these exotic places, what do you have, what do you see people eating? You see them eating like pineapples and watermelon and cantaloupe and, you know, um, you know uh, carrots and, and celery and stuff like that, right? Little, little stuff. It's not expensive. Uh, maybe oranges, right? Slicing oranges or uh, slicing apples. And just having those things available for them so they can just, you know, just munch on some stuff. Something else that our sponsors uh, John and Tiffany Malad actually uh, turned us on to, as well as uh, uh, all of our other secret agents in our company, is uh, you know just putting uh, spa uh, spa water together. What is spa water? Spa water is no more than just some great water uh, with some uh, fruit in it, and a lot of times we'll take we'll take lemons and limes and put that in there. And here's another one that you may not know: we'll actually take cucumbers and put it into a second pitcher. So on a hot hot day, when people get that cucumber water, they're like. Cucumber water. Ooh, really? I go, ha, don't make that face until you try it. And then they try it, they go, wow, that's some good stuff. I go, yeah, right? So it's good stuff. All right, so uh, in closing, let me also show you this. You got to have something to carry all your stuff in when you're traveling, okay? 
So basically what my wife and I have done is we actually went and got a, a, um, a pretty uh, economical suitcase that we use to actually carry uh, our demo stuff in and keep our stuff in and keep it away from like maybe other products that we maybe bought to sell or uh, to offer to uh, family and friends and whatnot. And so we actually keep stuff in the... Uh, and the suitcase, we all, you know, it keeps everything together demo wise. So when we get ready to do our wild party, guess what? All we gotta do is just pull our suitcase out and then just stage everything, okay? And um, that's pretty much it. So I appreciate you guys taking a moment out to uh, listen to how Regina and I actually put our wild party products together and how we actually get our samples out to family and friends. And it's been a, it's been great, okay? We really want to thank the uh, Malach for. Uh, teaching us and training us, as well as uh, uh, folks like uh, uh, Josh and uh, Cindy Denny. We, just say, we thank you so much for uh, just being there for us and helping us out. All right? We'll see you guys at the top. This is uh, Secret Agent Frank Henderson, along with my wife, who's actually out and about just building people up right now. Okay? So you guys have a great one. And remember, all growth is not healthy growth. Take care.